Horner's never going to be a 40-40 guy. Horner's never going to be the type of guy that's going to, you know, be a first-round pick. But what he is, he's a free chance to supplement, to supplement an average suck. What do I mean by that? A guy like Malik Smith or a guy like Joey Gallo, who... <laughs> who admittedly will give you good power numbers or give you good stolen bases numbers, but isn't going to help you with your average. Guys like that are valuable. They just are. Nico is going at 372. And when you're talking about, in contrast... In contrast, Jeff McNeil is going around 115, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. So you're talking about maybe a few more homers, maybe a few more RBIs, but the average part is is what I'm you know I'm, I'm speaking to. So the same you're after the same thing when you're going after Nico Horn. I think he's a tremendous value. And, you know, he could steal 15 bases if given everyday playing time. He's a shortstop by trade, so he's not going to play shortstop for the Cubs. But he could play second base. Hap could play the outfield, and he could play second base. He could play shortstop when Javi goes to third and Bryant goes to the outfield. It really kind of fits in nice, the fact that you have this type of talent. He's a little bit flexible, but the rest of the team kind of has a fluidity about it that's understood, right? So I really like Nico Horner. And again, his value at, shit, I'm passive, 370 or whatever I said, I I think is a good one, okay? I'm blowing you away with all these surprise guys, right? All these post drafts or post hype sleepers. You guys are really shocked that I like Ian Happ. You're really shocked that I like Nico Horner. Well, there's more of the same, but I think it's important to discuss these guys. These next two guys, you guys are going to laugh at me. You're going to call me a homer, even though I'm not a Pirates fan. Brian Reynolds. Guys, here's a guy. He, here's the thing. For, for the Pirates to operate the way that they do, they have to have a certain amount of excess picking up guys that fly under the radar. And that's exactly what Brian Reynolds is. Brian Reynolds came over from San Francisco in the Andrew McCutcheon trade. And I think he's a Cal State Fullerton guy. I don't correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe maybe he's a Vanderbilt kid. He's been a pretty consistent three ten plus hitter in the minor leagues. Sixteen homers last year might be a ceiling. He might grow into a few more. He, he's still young, but the name of this game. Is opportunity. And what Brian Reynolds has is a great opportunity to hit at the top of the lineup, while it might not be the best, and he gets on base a lot, right? 314 last year, he had a 377 OBP. He's not going to steal you a ton of bases. But, Hitting second a majority of the games last year is a real opportunity for him to score a lot of runs. Last year, he had 94 games at the two spot, and he hit 305 with 10 homers from that position. 
I think Brian Reynolds isn't getting talked about enough. And if I'm just being honest, and I've said this often, you guys laughed at me often. I don't think the Pirates are going to be as good or as bad as people think they are. And now, I, I, I'm not saying they're going to compete with, you know, the other guys in that conference. I'm not. But the coaching change is going to do wonders for them. Eventually. Why not this year? I think Derek Shelton's a really good coach. Uh, the pitch, the, the batting coach, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I did a thing on him. Is really talented. The Houston Astros loved him. Brian Reynolds' ADP is 180. And in all honesty, that's a bench player. I think he's better than that. Again, he's another one of those guys that can supplement a guy that's going to maybe take away in your average category. I really like Reynolds. So, of course, with Brian Reynolds, we got to turn to Kevin Newman. I love Kevin Newman, guys. Newman's a bit older. Newman's had some up and downs. The Pirates have been patient with Newman. But he showed why last year, right? He finally panned out last year. Yes, he was, Andrea. Newman was once a herald of prospect. He showed us why last year. I'm stalling. (laughs) I'm looking for his ADP. (laughs) All the way down to 213. Kevin Newman's actually going later than Brian Reynolds, guys. 40 picks later. That's a mistake. Kevin Newman has more talent in his bat. Last year, 308 with 12 homers and 16 stolen bases in just 130 games. This guy has a ton of talent. His OPP was 357. Again, this is about opportunity, though, right? He hit leadoff in 74 of his 130 games last year, and he batted 328 with 11 homers and 9 stolen bases out of that spot. This is a tremendous value, guys. 213. You're talking about an 17th to 18th round pick? This guy kind of got forgotten. Yeah, second base, shortstop eligible, multi-position eligible. And again, while he's had some hiccups, he still has that talent and that ability, that thoroughbred, if you will, to hit 300 at the major league level and give you double-digit homers and stolen bases as a baseman. He does make great contact. I totally agree, Andrea. So I, I again, I love Newman at two twelve or whatever the hell I said. These next couple guys a little bit higher up, but also really like them. Dave Craig, while I got you here, let's talk about Willie Calhoun. Again, I know you're surprised. <laughs> Dave plays in a bunch of leagues with me. He knows I'm a big Calhoun fan. Calhoun was once a highly regarded Dodger prospect. He's never had a problem hitting. His problem's been defensively. Well, the Rangers said they don't give a shit. 
they're going to play him anyway. And I tend to agree with them because this guy has a special bat talent. And worst case scenario, he's going to make more runs than he's going to give up. I don't care who you are. He's just 24, well, 25 years old this year. Yeah, he just took a fastball off the grill, but he's already swinging the bat again. Again, just like Lenny talked about this morning, he's another one of those guys that's going to benefit from the delay of the season. Right? Because by the time we get up and going, he's going to be back to ready to play. Hey, Mac, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. So, again... Calhoun's bat has never been a problem. And they want him to play left field. So Calhoun's going to play for the Rangers. Again, in a vacuum, you're looking at pretty much at a floor type number of 280, 25, 75 RBIs. So I really like this guy. And again, at a 179 ADP, I think that's a tremendous value. Um, he'll go much higher that next year if he does what I believe he, he he's capable of. What he's shown his entire career, right? <laughs> another another guy that's going to surprise you guys, I'm sure. Mecker, David, Ramon Laureano. I, I, I again, I. I love Loriano. I don't know if you can call him a post-type sleeper, right? But at 1480p, to me it seems like it should be higher than that. He's not played a full major league year yet. Yet he's got 29 career homers in the majors. Um he he's been a pretty consistent hitter. He's bat 288 both years in the majors. I, 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 what I like about Loriano, he loves hitting in the five hole last year. He hit 355 in the five hole. He hit 333 in the six hole. And why that's important for me, he's perfectly comfortable hitting in those pressure packed middle of the lineup spots. So that that lends itself to runs, RBIs, because of location, right? So I love Loriano. I, I think a a, a thirty twenty type season isn't ridiculous. I know last year he only stole twelve bases, but um, again, he's just twenty five years old. I think this is a good opportunity for him this year to hit in the middle of a really potent lineup. Everybody wants to talk about Matt Olson. Everybody wants to talk about Chapman. People want to talk about Profar. You know, all these other guys. Not Profar. I always get him. Semyon, sorry. But I don't think Loriano is getting enough discussion. Luis Arias is another one of those guys who, I mean, in all honesty, has batting batting champ potential. And at a 259 ADP, I think could be this year's Jeff McNeil. Again, he's relatively young. He wasn't a highly touted prospect. He's only 23. But if you're in a position, if you're in a position where you find yourself with guys who might leave a little bit to be desired in the average category, you could certainly do a hell of a lot worse than a Luis Arias. And the fact of the matter is, the cap on him could be much greater. He's another one of those guys. Last year he saw a majority of his 